Hey, one more clip before I leave. Um, let me leave you guys with some punishment because I think you guys deserve some fucking punishment. Let me leave you with some punishment before I leave this place because it's already quite late on my side. Where is it? Oh, it's fucking 4 a.m. Oh, my God. Um, let's, leave, let's leave you with this clip because I think you need some punishment. You guys need to be um, punished. You guys need to appreciate what you have and all the things that you've been given and all these gifts and be kind of inundated with terrible, terrible, terrible That's my name. content. So here, let me leave you with a gift. Let me leave you guys with a gift. The last stream. Let me leave you with a gift. With a gift. We're going to watch Brenda's job set. 50 seconds. What? What? 60 seconds. Let's see how much you can handle. That's my name. And uh, <laughs> as uh, so there is a serial killer on the loose in NorCal. <laughs> He's in Stockton, he's made his way down to San Jose. So as you leave the theater tonight, head on a swivel. And Jeffrey Dahmer's so hot right now, right? After that Netflix star, I was like, ooh. And I'm into serial killers, so I was like, oh, this is hot. Let me look into this. What's he doing, eating their brains? Oh, was he, was he putting a fucking werewolf mask on? What's he doing? As you research it, this dude's just driving by fucking shooting people. He's not a serial killer, that's a gangbanger with a good shot. Who's your publicist? You think you can just drive by and shoot people and 10 years from now you're gonna Netflix doc, bitch? After you shoot them, pull over, eat their dicks, do something, dude. Paint your face like a fucking clown, shoot them, leave a calling card, do something, dude. I leave here tonight, I get shot. He eats my dick. I'm, I'm the first one, he Kobayashi. <laughs> did you listen to that shit <laughs> why is why is he rushing why is he rushing so much why is he rushing and why does it sound so terrible <laughs> oh my god I've got to try and do stand up, man. I've got to try and do stand up. That's what I've got to do. I've got to try. I'm going to try and put together a, a little set, right? I'm going to go to a couple of open mics and see where I am at a, at a month, right? And do a little, I record my set after one month and see if it's as funny or maybe on the same level as fucking Brendan. Because if he's getting paid 30 grand or whatever, he gets paid to do those sets and drive a purple Porsche and live in a mansion then I need to do that too. I need to do that. I need to do that. I must do that. Oh my God. That was legitimately like, I don't even know where to begin with that. I really don't know where to begin. I really don't know where to begin with that set. Like, what the fuck was that? Please someone tell me what that was. What What was that? I don't even know where the what the worst bit was. I guess somebody heckled him in the beginning and said, Brendan, and he tried to, you know, play with it and go along with it and it just didn't work and that's my name. The outfit is, you know, a fucking catastrophe. That needs to be said. And what's with the fucking camp mannerisms? What's with the camp mannerisms? What's with that? What's with the camp mannerisms? Because I noticed Chris Leah does that too when he's on stage. He has this weird, like, kind of, like, voice he puts on. They all have way... They don't just talk. That's why maybe I like Tom Segura. He just does comedy in his normal voice that he's podcasting. Whereas but Brendan has this exaggerated version of himself that's kind of, like... I guess because he, he doesn't want to look like an intimidated MMA guy. 
he kind of goes overly the other way where he's always talking about cocks and sucking cocks and I'd fuck him and he did this like it's always fucking homosexual type joke stuff that's meant to be funny because I was thinking if you are if you were gay wouldn't you be a bit offended that he thinks it's funny that you suck dicks it's funny that you like other men don't you think so that's a bit offensive in a way I know I'm, I sound like a little bit like a fucking snowflake, but it does sound kind of weird, isn't it? How he seems to always find it is funny that other guys like dicks. Like, why is that hilarious to you? <laughs> why does why is that so funny? And why is it always on your mind? <laughs> no, don't you think so? It's a bit weird, I find. But let's just watch this one more time. Honestly, one more time. That's my name. And uh, as uh, <laughs> there is a serial killer on the loose in NorCal. <laughs> He's in Stockton. He's made his way down to San Jose. <laughs> Why is he laughing after those sentences? There's a serial killer. <laughs> He's San Jose. Oh, what's with these fucking fake? I think I prefer the mic tap thing on his leg. The mic tap. Like, honestly, I think so. I think I, I prefer the mic tap. What's with the, like, the forced laugh in between everything he's saying? Like, as if... He's trying to make it seem like he's just said the first, he's just said it now for the first time. We know you have it. We know it's a comedy set that you practice this in the mirror, that you're probably, mum, you know, mumbling it to yourself with your mouth full of fucking, you know, nicotine patches on the way to the fucking thing. The laughing thing is really strange. So as you leave the theater tonight, head on a swivel. And Jeffrey Dahmer. Exactly. Even I know that, Jared. He's been caught. We all know this. And it's only been, if you watch the news and you read the news, you would know this serial killer has been caught. I don't know how he got caught, but he got caught in the fucking same getup that he was using when he was going to kill people, which is fucking wild. But they caught him red-handed. So this is like mute, like what? Unless this was filmed before, I don't know. But he's not even on it. Anyway. It's so hot right now, right? After that Netflix start, I was like, ooh, and I'm into serial killers. So I was like, oh, this is hot. Let me look into this. What's he doing, eating their brains? Or was he, was he putting a fucking werewolf mask on? What's he doing? As you research it, this dude just driving by fucking shooting people. He's not a serial killer. That's a gangbanger with a good shot. Who's your publicist? Why is that? Is that funny? A gangbanger with a good shot? Maybe I'm just dissecting this too much, but what? You think you can just drive by and shoot people and 10 years from now you're getting a Netflix doc, bitch? After you shoot them, pull over, eat their dicks. Do something, dude. Paint your face like a fucking clown. Shoot him. Leave a calling card. Do something, dude. I leave here tonight. I get shot. He eats my dick. I'm, I'm the first one. He Kobayashi. Exactly, exactly, exactly. He was walking, not driving. Exactly. There's so many details of that. This that don't make any sense. Like. <laughs> i don't know i don't know i'm done i'm done man it's too late for me for this show i can't i can't make sense of this stuff man i just don't i just can't i just can't can you can we tell you this thing he's nearly 10 years into stand-up 10 years <laughs> Don't get me wrong. That's that clip is marginally better than the stuff he did that for the first one. You'd be surprised, but it's not seven years better. It's not five years better. It's just better, like maybe a couple of months. But he's been in this for a while, and it's not even. I don't know. But it's, hey, it's, it's, it works out for him. Works out for him, I guess.